scraps. Some of us have a little, and some of us are in full hoarder status. Either way, I think we're all guilty of it. I think in this video, I'm going to try to find a, at least a couple of small projects that I can build with some of this. Won't be able to use it all this time around, but let's see what I can come up with. So I'm thinking about something like this. And in that configuration, we have four shelves. All these panels were cut the same when I cut the drawers, uh, but they're a little bit off. Uh, this is a little over seven inches, and this is six and a half on the mark. So, to maximize our use of these, we'll cut these to we'll cut the seven in, a little over seven inch uh, length down to six and a half to match, and we'll have a perfect. Okay. Set the fence at six and a half inches. Right there. And just to test that, we can take our, our piece that was six and a half inches and use that to gauge it. And it looks like it's right on. So now we just got to trim these down. Okay, now we've got squared up blocks. Okay, next step is I'd like to give these outer corners a little bit of a round over. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mark these corners. I'm just going to do these outer corners. These are the ones that will be pointing out into the middle of the room. So I'm just going to put a little X on these corners. And those will be the ones that will round over. All right, to round over the corners, I've got this little piece left over from a turning project, and it's about the right radius, so we'll use that. And I'm just going to trace trace a little half circle, or actually a little quarter circle, on this corner. Just like that. All right, now we'll uh, cut these out on the bandsaw. Not bad. All right, last thing I want to do is clean these corners up on this little belt sander. That looks pretty good. The belt sander does a pretty good job of cleaning this corner up, but it does leave a little bit of a little fringe from the plywood, so I'm just going to knock that off with a little bit of I think this is 80 grit sandpaper. All right, time to assemble this. I'm just going to use glue and some headless pin nails. And I found that my pin nailer will just fit in between here, so it's, it's perfect for this. So we'll just set these pieces aside. And we'll start with this one here. And I'm also making sure that I have the good side oriented out or up. Birch plywood tends to have a good side and a not so good side. So I want the good side to be seen. I'm just going to rely on the glue and the pin nails, and I think this is this will hold together. Okay. Now we just let that glue dry. Okay, the scrap 
corner shelf is dry and feels pretty solid. The glue, uh, the glue does a pretty good job. And the pin nails, of course, kept everything together while it was drying. So now we just need to paint it. Okay, here it is, all finished up with a fresh coat of paint, ready to be hung in any corner. And all you have to do is pre-drill some holes and screw right to the wall. And you've got a nice little shelving unit to put small items on. So my other project is a little mini clamp rack. I've got four of these small clamps, or mini clamps. And then I also have four of these, I guess you would call small clamps. I also have two pieces of this half inch birch plywood at 24 inches long. They're perfect. So, so I just need to determine which boards is going to be the back hanging piece and the piece that is horizontal like this for the clamps to hang on. This one's a little, little wider so I think I'm going to use this for the horizontal piece and this will be our back piece as well. So we'll go like this. Now if I lay these clamps out and look for a fairly comfortable spacing, looks like if I do two inches on center that will work pretty well. So we'll go two inches on center and I'll do that for all eight spaces so that way everything's equal. So we need to start with our layout and I'm going to come in an inch and a half. That'll be our first and then we'll come over two inches, so two and a half, three and a half. And then we'll come over another one and a half inches for our, for our end of our boards. Okay, I'm going to take my square, draw that line there, that's where we'll cut the board. And then we're going to need slots. And if I measure the larger screw on these small clamps, Looks like it's a little under half an inch, so a half inch slot ought to do the trick. So first, things, first thing we'll do is mark, we'll draw a line where we put our marks, just like this. Okay, now, now that we have those eight slots marked out, we need to actually mark the slots themselves. And we said we'll use a half inch. So I'm going to set this on a quarter inch. And I'm going to mark at basically zero and a half inch. And that gives me a quarter inch slot or a half inch slot. And I'm going to do that. OK. I also need to figure out the depth of the slot. And it looks like three and a half inches would be just about right for these larger clamps. So I'm going to set this at three and a half inches. So I got three and a half inches here. And then I'm going to mark that. So this is the depth of each slot. Now we'll go down the board and draw lines to represent that half inch slot. Now we have our slots marked out. Okay. Now we got to cut, all, cut both of these boards to the 17 inch length of and we're going to use a table slide for that. Okay. Now we'll have two boards the same way. Okay, I'd like to have the slots have a nice little rounded, half round part right here in the slot. And since it's a half inch slot, I put a half inch Forstner bit in my drill press. And I'm just going to drill at that center location 
right here on the line showing that the where the where the slot stops. It'll actually go a little bit further for the half round, but it should work. Okay, there's our holes. Now let's take it over to the table saw. Okay, now I'm going to use the table saw to cut these slots. And basically I've brought the blade up as high as I can uh, with the, with the uh, limits of my table saw sled. And I'm going to use it to cut these slots on both sides. And I'm going to cut just up to the circle that we just cut with the half inch Forstner bit. Um, and I'll try not to go too far because I'd like to retain that nice round circle that we have or we'll end up with a half round. So here we go. All right, there's our slots cut. Remember those last two scrap pieces that we had? Well, these aren't going to go to waste. We're going to use these as supports. This piece is actually, all right, so I've cut these, cut these to size, and now all we have to do is cut down the middle at an angle on the bandsaw to create our brackets. We we'll actually only use three of these, but uh, just to show that even in a scraps project, you're going to end up with scrap. All right, let's put this thing together. So I'm going to start with a thin bead of glue along this top edge. This is our support back piece. I'll just use some brad nails. Just like that. And then we're going to put our support brackets in. And they'll just go in just like this. And since we have three, We'll center them up. Well, two on the edges, two on the ends, and then one right here in the center. And there we have it. Clamp rack. Okay, to mount this clamp rack, I'm just going to use a couple of screws. So I'm going to pre-drill the holes first with a countersink. And now this is ready for mounting on the wall. All right, I'm going to mount this on the wall using a couple of drywall screws. Snug that first screw up and then use the level to get it just level. There we go. There we go. Clamps fit perfect, nice and neat, small, fits right on the wall, and uh, all I used was scraps, didn't cost me a penny. All right, there you have it. Two simple projects made completely from scraps, didn't cost a penny, and were easy to build. You could easily build these in a weekend's time. So now the challenge is for you to come up with a project of your own, now you're scrapped in. Post pictures or video in the comments below. Love to see what you come up with. And also in the description, you'll find links to all the other woodworkers on YouTube who are involved in the same challenge, the Scrap Bin Challenge. And you can see all the projects that they came up with. And we're all challenging you to come up with your own project and post it. So let's see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please click the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have a subscriber. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.